Today we're going to be doing something a uh, little different. We're experimenting with uh, curry powder. W one of my relatives has, unfortunately, has Alzheimer's, and she's gone through all three of the memory medications, Exelon, Nemenda, and the Aricept, and she's at the point where she's not really getting any results with the medicine, which is costing her hundreds of hundreds of dollars per month. Um, some of her doctors say she should continue taking it. Other doctors say that they're really not that helpful. So you, you're really at a loss as to what to do. And so I've been doing some research on the internet and I found where some scientists have done some research with a synthetic uh, drug and vitamin D3 and got some excellent results in animal studies with uh, removing and el reducing, eliminating the uh, the sticky stuff that gets in the, the, the brain cells that they're uh, attributing to Alzheimer's. Um, the synthetic drug they're, t are, they're talking about I think is called curcumin which is something found in the spice turmeric which is also find in, found in curry. Uh, they're using the synthetic curcumin because the natural substance the body has, it's very difficult for the body to uh, absorb it. Um, when they've given uh, uh, the, the straight turmeric spice, the body doesn't absorb the curcumin very well. Uh, it does it a little bit, but not very much. So they went to the synthetic, and the synthetic got very good results with a combination of vitamin D3. So um, I was happy but at the same time a little sad because where does one get synthetic curcumin? <laughs> I haven't worked in a lab in a long time and I still wouldn't be able to synthesize it so you know you, you see you get good news like that but then what do you do with it? So I did some more research and I saw where the people had done some studies where the curry has about 10 different spices. One of the spices is pepper and there are some others that they think are in some studies have shown where the body was able to absorb the curcumin when taken with other spices as much as 2,000 percent. Now they have pills or capsules that have turmeric in it but we've already seen that the turmeric alone doesn't seem to do a very good job of being absorbed. However when taken as curry it looks like the body is able to um, absorb the, the curcumin uh, much much easier so w since there aren't any pills that have curry in them and m the person I w want this to take doesn't have uh, regularly eat curry we're going to try curry pills with the vitamin D3 which will have the turmeric which has the curcumin in it and I'm going to take some of them myself to make sure it doesn't upset my stomach this is something people could try. I, I'm not a doctor. I'm not saying this is what you should do or you should do. This is just an experiment we're doing. And also a lot of people probably aren't aware how you can make your own pills. This is something I read about and I purchased the box. came in the mail today. This is the first time I'm using it. It's just a capsule machine and making my own capsules. So. I thought this would be interesting for people on YouTube to look at. Some, I know there's literally millions of other people out there in the same boat that have a family member that has the Alzheimer's and they're thinking what in the world are they going to do? You know, it's Like I said, some doctors say this works, some, uh, the, the Aricept, Nemenda, and Exelon, others are saying no it doesn't. So you, you just don't know what to do. So this is something we're going to try and I'd like for people on YouTube to give me some feedback to see if they try it, if, if they get any results. Um, and I hope it's something helpful. So let, let's continue finish making the pill so I'll show you how to do it. Okay, I've never done this before, so this is the first time you're going to see me do it. These have all the tops of the capsules in. These were the bottoms we put the powder. So let's give it a shot. a son of a gun. <laughs> it works. Okay. Okay, everybody. These are our finished pills. 
we turn the top upside down and press. There's a little spring and all of the little capsules. These are gelatin capsules. They're, they're made from a vegetable material um, and we're able to fill them up with our curry. This curry is uh, McCormick's. It has about 10 other spices in there. And I like to say once again, I, I'm not a doctor. I'm not recommend anyone do this, and I'm not saying it'll cure anything. I'm saying this is something we're going to try. Like I said, the scientists and their studies have found that the the curcumin, synthetic curcumin, uh, which is a substance in the spice turmeric, when combined with the vitamin D3, showed very good results in removing the the uh, substance that's in the brain cells that that they're attributing to the Alzheimer's. So w this is something w we're willing to try because it is just a spice, something you would just have normally uh, with food. You can get the turmeric pills and it has curcumin in it instead of curry, but in the studies I've seen, the straight turmeric, which has a curcumin in it, does not get absorbed very well in the body. However, when the turmeric is in the curry, the other spices seem to um, work uh, to to enhance the ability of the body's uh, ability to, to uh, absorb the curcumin. And taken with the vitamin D3, it, it looks like it's something that might be helpful. The other things that we've been offered by the doctors and the scientists and the pharmacists are the Namenda, the Aricept, and the Exelon. And after a while, they don't work. And sometimes people are saying they don't work to begin with. Uh, you're better off not even taking them. So we're sort of in limbo. We don't know what to do. So this is something we're going to try. And it's certainly a lot less expensive. And it looks like it's something that might have a lot less side effects. And if you've never made your own pills, I thought this would be something useful for you to see. I, this is the very first time I made these myself. And I, you can see how easy it was to do. So I hope this is helpful for some people. And if you have any results, I'd be interested to see what you, what's, what's working or not working with you guys out there in YouTube land. I appreciate your, your interest, and I hope you continue to watch my videos and to subscribe if you like them, and that this is something that you guys can use. Thanks a lot.